Republicans in Arizona wasted no time claiming fraud yesterday. There is absolutely nothing to this, but they wasted no time claiming fraud. Charlie Kirk, who lives in Arizona and was very involved with the Carrie Lake campaign and Blake Masters, tweeting out two hour wait minimum at most polling places in Maricopa. Democrats running elections here knew this would happen. Traffic jam by design. Don't let them do 2020 again. Wait in line and vote. It turns out actually that Democrats don't run elections in Maricopa County. The Board of Supervisors is four Republicans and one Democrat. Same thing with the county recorder. 2020 was safe and secure in Arizona, but they were starting to catch up on this Arizona stuff. Here's Brett Bayer saying it's a little suspicious over there. We kind of knew that this election was going to happen. You know, I mean, right. Are you mean maybe we've been getting ready for it for a while? How about how about we fix the machines? I mean, why is this happening? Can we get our head around? There are going to be problems all over the country, some problems, but for it to happen here, for it to happen now in this way is kind of strange. No, well, what you have to remember is it's not that it's happening. It's that Republicans decided we're going to say that there's fraud in Arizona. Really, there were no waits or very short waits in most places. Residents are allowed to vote at any polling place they want, not just the one nearest their home. And there's a very good NPR piece. Arizona's Maricopa County says it's identified a solution for voting equipment issues. There was an issue with a tabulator. Um, It was dealt with. It was not a huge deal, but rest assured. If Carrie Lake loses, she's losing right now, but we have to wait until all the votes are counted. If Carrie Lake loses, she will say it was fraud. Let's take a quick break and be right back with a very, very busy news day today. Our sponsor, Magic Spoon, is the breakfast cereal that tastes amazing, but without the sugar, carbs and the crazy ingredients. Magic Spoon has taken your favorite childhood cereals and brilliantly transformed them into something you can feel good about eating because each serving has zero grams of sugar under five net carbs and is packed with 13 grams of protein. So it'll work for keto and low carb, but it's really perfect for anyone who wants the occasional sweet, crunchy treat without the sugar. Their portfolio of eight plus unique, delicious flavors allow you to never get bored. My favorite is maple waffle, but they've got the classics like cocoa, fruity, frosted, Also, cinnamon roll, blueberry muffin. Our entire team has been eating Magic Spoon for years. We love it. But if you don't, they send you all your money back. It's really easy. Magic Spoon has been supporting The David Pakman Show for a long time. They always give my audience $5 off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pakman and use the code Pakman. The link is down below.